Hey everybody, it's the Wargaming Guy. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for watching. And we are back here in the Ardennes playing, of course, a decisive campaigns, Ardennes Offensive. We are doing the, uh, as the allies here, trying to uh, hold off the Germans from St. Vith. So uh, let's take a look at where we're at and what we've got going on. Um... All right, let's pull him down here. No. Oh, yeah, that's what we... Okay, wait. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> it's a weird thing. I have to keep remembering different games. I have different ways of moving my units. So now I don't like this at all. And unfortunately, he's not going to go any further. So... Swing you up here. What do we got here for regular attack? One to two, one to one, one to one. Blech. It's terrible. How about if we drop something on there? Let's take this one. And we'll. Let's do that. Maybe we can soften them up a little bit. <clears throat> Maybe not. Uh, we still don't know who's there or what's there, so... Let's see. Still one-to-one, -one, so we're not attacking. Not at those odds. Um, actually, we could add... I keep forgetting. Nope. You... Let's. Uh, we can still. We should be able to still do this, right? Three to one. Three to one. All right. Well, we don't need you then for three to one. So we'll attack with that. There we go. Holy. Really? That 130. Infantry? They didn't have 130 Panzer Shreks. Has to be infantry. And they ended up with nothing? Wow. That's what I call really clobbering somebody. That's amazing. Let's see if I can... Uh, it's one-to-one. -one. Nope. Wow. Okay, I'm, I'm like real happy about that. Um... Let's see what we can do here. Um, ooh, we got a lot here, so let's. Um, we got a lot. It's not adding much to the. Oh, all of a sudden it's five to one. Take it. Crush them. Well, okay, that didn't do anything like that last attack, but it did force him back a little, so that's actually good. Because it's forcing him out of supply. So um, that's always a good thing as far as we're concerned. Meanwhile, we're going to spread out down here. You're stuck there. I think I'm just going to... What would this be? No, we can't do it. Um, in that case, how about if we do some kind of a ranged attack here? Nice. Hopefully that will shake him up a little bit. Nah, not much. But, I mean, it's okay. So, we're gonna... We're gonna leave you guys right where you are, and you're not going anywhere, so that's fine. Um, yeah, we're choking this off down here nicely, which is, of course, what we want. Um, really, you can't go any further? What about you? Ta. Man, send him up there, send you to follow. I wish I could force march or something, these guys, but I don't seem to have that option. So, oh, this is not good. It's really, really not good. What do we got surrounding me here? It doesn't look, that's 100 infantry, but... 200, so he's, yeah, look at this. They are punching through and just destroying me. 
So that's going to be like 7 to 1. Really? I'll take that. Alright, didn't really go anywhere. Shoot. Let's get down here, slow them up as much as possible. We're still cut off. And I've got nothing that can get through there for at least another turn. Meanwhile, this guy, 80 staff. Oh, they do have some armor, even though it's Stuart's. It's light armor, but it's something. Versus ADSS, 10 Panzer Grenadiers, some mortars, and it's a Kuba wagon, which isn't exactly going to help them. So that's something that we might be able to uh, hold off on this guy. Dude, what? <laughs> How did you get here? How did that... <sighs> Oh, well, I don't know. I think I've played this game fairly well, but obviously I've made some mistakes. <laughs> and that was one of them. How about if I... Oh, there was someone there. All right, so... Can we... Wait. Let's just hit them with the artillery units alone so that my infantry units can attack. Hopefully that will soften them up a tad. Hopefully. And we'll add you. And that's good. Hit him. St Ooh, they're gone. We wiped them out. Yes, that is awesomely excellent. So now we'll push down this road as well. So that's pretty good. I'm feeling good about that. Um... All of a sudden, there's nothing here. It seems rather odd to me that there would be nothing there. It's because there's something there. How did I know that? I must be a psychic, I swear. Um, not that I'm not. <laughs> what? Wait. That's much better. Hit him. So they got 100 SS Panzer Grenadiers and not much else left there. But they did hold ground. They did not lose. But this guy, what has this guy got? He's in good shape. And yet if he attacks, it's one to one. So where else do I need an armored unit? Maybe up here. Maybe this would be a good time to send him a traveling. Because right now this looks okay. Oh, uh, so... um. What do we got here? Really? That's it? Oh, come on. Um, we should be able to hurt this guy pretty bad. He said, looking at 31 to 1 odds. All right, fine. Really? That was not at all what I expected. I mean, I pushed him back, which is fine, but I mean, I'm not going to advance. There's really there's nothing to be gained by me being there. Um, you. Might as well swing up around here. So we, we need to cut this off. I don't think there's much there. Apparently there isn't. That's good. So now, what do we got here? Um... 290 Panzer Grenadiers. Okay, they've got that. They've got Kuba wagons. They've got... Okay, I, whatever that is. Uh, they have the... Okay, that... I would think we do all fairly well attacking that. And I guess so. Wearing them down. Started off with 340 Grenadiers. They're down to 300, so that was a pretty big loss. Uh, that's good. He can't go anywhere. You guys are stuck here. What is here anyway? He hasn't got... What? Really? What? Ten? Well, maybe we can attack him. Sixteen to one, just with that. A hundred to one? <laughs> well... It was, and they retreated, and we're just not going to worry about that too much at the moment. Dang, that went all right. Um, yeah, you've moved. 
Let's see. Um, didn't really want to go that far. There we go. So I think we are in pretty good shape here. We've got this is an area of concern. This So we've broken down into these little areas. Like I, What concerns me here is that there doesn't seem to be anything here, but that doesn't quite seem like I, I, it doesn't seem right. You know what I mean? And then we're trying to get all these guys up here to deal with all this. So it's very interesting that unlike a lot of games, you know, you don't know what's out there. And I, that, I think that's really good. Let's see our cards. So we got control units. I don't need a roadblock. Don't think I need any of that. Air support. Nah, I'm not going to bother with it. I think we're doing okay. It is 1800 on December 24th. So let's go and see what they're going to come up with. Here we go. Shuffling around down here trying to... Oop, whoa, wait. It's amazing how many camp groups they have. I mean, you know, it's one thing to read about how... Oh, that's not good. How... um the German Jews camp groups, but to see it like this is really cool, I think. I like it. Good. Good work, boys. Stand firm. They shall not pass. Still hitting me there. They want to get through there. Why not? That's one of the big roads they need, so it makes sense. Here they come. Oop. Yeah, push me back there. That's bad. That that armor unit is just about toast. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, it's still cold. 45 victory points. Yes! That's what I'm talking about, people. Get to keep them down. Um, I love it. Let's see. So here we go. 1640 SS Panzer Grenadiers and 1610 Volks Grenadiers. 1020 SS Infantry. 740 Infantry. 700 Volks Grenadier. Sig 44. I mean, when you look at these casualties, <coughs> man, talk about appalling. 47 Panthers. Ouch. 32 Jag Panthers. Uh, we're still at six Tiger Twos, of course, because that's all they had, apparently, at least at this point. 72-14 is their total losses. Our total losses. Man, we're almost up to 3,000 GI vets that have been lost. Whew, that hurts. Um, total of 73-93 versus 72-14. Very close. That's awesome. That's, like, really awesome. Okay, so now it's the middle of the night, so we don't need to be doing too much, especially on the defense. Nevertheless, uh, let's get down here so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Um, why am I sure there's a unit here? Let's go find out. There's not. There's this guy who's not too bad. 370 Panzer Grenadiers. He's got... Some fire support. I think moving some people up, maybe to hit him next turn, maybe. Or maybe actually, you know, it couldn't hurt to. Yeah, okay, that's not gonna work. Um, they are messing down here, but I think. We'll send him down there. Meanwhile, there was a camp group around here, and I don't just want to move and bump into him for no reason. So let's just move you guys up. I need to break through here or get as close as I can to it. There we go. At least we've connected some of the dots. Um... We'll send him that way because this guy's, yeah, he's getting pretty low. 
Let's get you over there on top of him. You might help a little. Not really, but maybe. <laughs> it's pretty weak. Um, but boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Poor Carnes, I think, is toast, man. He can't move anywhere. We don't even know what that is. Or Kane, not Carnes. Sorry, Kane. Five to one. Well, take it. It's your big chance to get out, man. Go for it. It doesn't look like you went far enough for it. Okay, I should have probably clicked all out attack, but... That's... Ah, I can't get any further. But it's okay. We're holding there for the moment. Um... Let's let's send you on the road. It's probably in the long run going to be quicker. Um, I'd still like to get back to Troy's point, but I don't think that's going to be happening. Um, let's see if we could soften that up with just artillery. There we go. Just beat him up a little bit. And, um... Nachtruppen. Is that night troops? I don't know. Pioneers? Hmm. And look, he's trying to sneak around. So we're gonna have to watch our stupid flank um, again. We're gotta watch it over here. They're just they're just gonna stretch us until they get us. I guess it probably wouldn't hurt to pull back here. He can't move, so that would hurt. But you can you you could actually move there if you can live. I don't know why he can't get any supply, but he can't. Can I resupply him somehow? Um. Fuel. Play card. Well, maybe that'll help. Maybe it won't. I don't know if I made the right choice there or not, but we'll find out. We're going to... Why is this regular? It's four to one regular attack? Jeez. Okay. Wow. 500 and... Holy smokes. It's a lot of SS infantry. Um, you can't move. Okay. Wheel. Um. I guess we're okay out here. You know what? Where's that? There's this guy. I want to send him down here. Maybe send him out in here just as a scout to see what's going on. I don't think much is, if anything, but it's kind of hard to tell. So let's see what the Germans are going to do tonight. All right, here we go. Lots of intercept fire. That's good. Ooh, just got around us. They are very good at that. Trying to, well, they, yeah, they can go there because there's a bridge. So I gotta, I gotta snuff that guy out. Oh boy, he's probably gonna just no, he don't. Okay. Dude, he's only down to one. Shoot, no wonder they kicked his butt. That's bad. So I got another. My units are like <laughs> bleeding out, you know. His are too. So it's just like a matter of who's going to get there the worst. And look at that. They've stacked a bunch of guys up here. They want to break through here. And they know they've got precious little time to do it. Oof.
Ah, shoot. They wiped me out. That's bad. He's totally, he's gone. If he survives tonight, I'll be amazed. Fight, come on, fight. Make him, make him, make him fight for you. Stand your ground. Yes, yes, yes. Uh-oh. Eh. Oh, he's gone. So now we got a problem out there. <sighs> Great. It's a good thing this game's almost over because... Or this scenario's almost over because... It's getting a little thin in the middle, if you know what I mean. Oh, he's still there. Okay, I misread that. Look at, his, look at that number drop. Bless him, man. Bless your hearts, guys. Jeez. What? I won? How did I win? I mean, I'm very happy to see that I won. I expected to win. But I thought we had longer to go than this. Okay, so it's zero at... Oh, that's right. That would be midnight because 12... Oh, yeah. Uh, I thought I had another day and I don't. So here's the victory report gained in a major, major allied victory, I say, major. Axis had 45 VIPs. Of these, zero were provided by casualties thanks to some heroic fighting on the behalf of my men. And here's the final score for you numbers freaks and geeks out there. <laughs> uh, there we go. Major victory. Pretty dang happy about that, but wow, it came down to it. Still 47 Panthers, 47 Panzer IV, uh, L-48s, 20 Stug threes, 18 Stug fours. So much Stug life has been lost, my friends. Seven horse teams, okay. Six Tiger twos. Actually, if they'd had the horse teams pulling the Tiger twos, it might have gone better. Uh, so there you go. So total losses in power points is 74.89 versus uh, our total loss in power points, which we'll get down to, which is 79.49. So that's 500 points more between the two of us. That's not a lot, actually, I think, when you're attacking. So here's the final uh, map. There you go, everybody. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Um, what I'm going to do now is move on to the, um, I think, to move on to the Bastogne scenario. And I'm thinking of doing two things. One, playing it from the Allied side again. And two, upping the AI. Uh, I'm not sure where the AI sits at the moment. I'll have to look. Um, but it, yeah, I think it needs a little help, so... We can do that, and uh, but uh, you know, if you want to see the allies or you want to see the a uh, the um, the axis side in the next scenario, let me know what you think. And until then, this is the Wargaming Guy saying thanks for watching, everybody. Take care out there, and I will see you later.